And as we know, energy is very critical uh, to growth. Uh, we're grappling with that in South Africa. But again, I think the rest of the world is also grappling with how to provide energy in ways that are sustainable. Um, and for us as the growth and development agents, it's also important to make sure that the technologies that <clears throat> provide these renewable energy sources is also localized, because a lot of it has generally been from Europe and, and Asia, and we want to see a lot more of it that is, uh, that is domestic, because we may have the sun, but if the technology that converts it into energy is mostly imported, then excuse our balance of payment. So I think there's a lot of opportunities in the countries that are here, and we've seen many big energy projects in the continent, I mean, in Ghana at some point when I was there. There were actually even South African companies like Group 5 who were doing some energy projects, and Kenya has a very significant energy project as well. So there's a lot happening, and I know how in Nigeria is doing a bit of work. I see the Nigerian business chamber here. And so we also have been trying to work with Lagos on some of infrastructure and export promotion. So it's always really very encouraging to see colleagues in the continent who all have the same uh, opportunities. And I think when we in, Co in Cape Town continue to trade conversations is to look at what can be done. And lastly, for us, and I think this is a message we always reinforce as um, the GTTA we have what we call Investors A Gaudeng, which is a partnership with the GTI, and its main aim is to make the things that are painful for investors a lot easier. And one of them we know generally in the continent, and it's not just the continent now, even a lot of Asian and European countries complain with visas. And so people who want to come to South Africa and have visa issues, we facilitate that. We have home affairs in our certain office at One Center Drive, and we also have um, visa facilitation services. So we work very closely with them to try and resolve those issues. Because when you apply online, which is what happens in some of the countries, people don't know your business, they don't know your investor and how urgent it may be. So we cut that out and make it a little bit easier. So. Use us as your partner in resolving some of those, and then, of course, compliance issues. We work closely with the TGIC uh, to resolve all of those.